I'm so nervous. We should we should say something like new set, new start. set. <laughs> yeah. yeah, let's roll with it. After 14 <laughs> long days of silence, <laughs> yeah. we are back, baby. Santa Heat Unfiltered Woo. season five. Oh. Woo. Hit that, that intro, thing. baby. Yeah, let's just do go. it. I, ah. I couldn't hear a single Hold thing. I wait, thought wait, I could wait. hear it. Wait, that just cut out. Yeah, it just cut out. Let's let's restart that. It's, it's coming to all, baby. Woo! Yeah. Ow! Mm. Wowza. Welcome back to Zane and Heat Unfiltered Season 5, baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For the people listening, we are at uh, we're in a brand new set. Yep, we have relocated from Heath and Mariah's house, and now we're doing it at my house. And we this looks amazing. I I, I already love this so much better than it last feels season. So cozy. I love it. I can't get enough Matt, of it. This Matt is just my... walked in for the first time to see it a couple of minutes ago. So <laughs> what's your thoughts? What you expected? What what are we thinking here? I'm in awe. It's everything and more. I love it. I feel like we're like in a basement like it's like kind of like basement vibe and yeah. what's funny is that that's exactly the vibe that we were trying to we go were going for. for like mid-century like 70s basement oh i love it this togo couch mm. authentic a real genuine leather what? real um mm. i don't know if you could tell but each piece was picked separately that's right for the room you guys piece it together so damn well and i'm also so excited like i think it's so versatile for like the seasons as well. Like I always see, I already see a Christmas tree already in the uh -huh. corner. Yeah. It it's, feels cozy homey to me. Yeah, exactly. And is that fireplace real? Like can it emit heat? It, or? It, it can emit heat. It's not a real fire, but yes, it, it has uh, heat settings on it. <laughs> I dig it. And then wait, is this our old sign yeah. too? Yeah. Oh, perfect. I love that we have like <laughs> an earthquake like detector yeah. meter. Like if anything <laughs> oh, ever yeah. happens, that will truly let us know. if something Because we can never tell, especially when we're recording, we never know when there's an earthquake or cab because this thing hasn't there swinging. been one or two earthquakes while we're recording that we missed? I, like th since we started season one? Small ones, maybe, but I don't think we've ever had like a good, decent one on camera. Where, where like really moved this, like yeah, moved this room. That'll be the most obvious. Like, oh, and we're on tell. the top floor. We're on the, mm -hmm. we're on the second oh, story. We're gonna be shaking. So, oh, we're going to be feeling so we're everything. We're going to shake things up this season. Exactly, baby. <laughs> You guys nailed it though. I can't. It's does the it's does so, the carpet look familiar? Is this the carpet from the <laughs> yeah. old place? We wait. ripped it up and cut it to fit in here. Okay, so wait, was that room before? Did it have carpet, or did you guys lay down that carpet? We or, put the carpet this, in yeah, there. it was laid down. Oh, it's wood floor. So not only was it wood floor in that room, but the, I mean, you know, a lot of people didn't know there's a whole window, like glass yeah. sliding door in the back of the room. Everybody, I thought everybody knew that. I feel like, I thought we've talked about it so yeah. many times, but when when we posted that picture of the before and after, we um, moved everything out right. of the set. People, people couldn't believe that yeah. there was a you door should, there. You should see what that room looks like now. Uh, Full bedroom. It, wow. You already like had enough time to like get a guest bedroom, like a bed in there and everything. Well, w we took the one from our bedroom and just put it in there because my parents are coming into town tomorrow. Ah. So we don't have a bed right now. We're going to figure it out. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so we had worked for the last like week and a half to uh, since those walls were built, there's holes and it was just absolutely insane. That room was trashed. Yeah. Like the walls were disgusting. So we had to go in with spack. Like and uh, fill up the yeah, holes yeah, properly. Put, like, spackle all in it. And, like, is that hard to do? Like, it was very time consuming. Damn, you guys did a fantastic yeah, job, and job. it's nice. Uh, uh, Jordan has like his own little quarters in uh, the walk-in closet in here, which is cool. Oh yeah, we Whoa. have a nice little walk-in closet now. We don't. We're not like all jammed up in in the room like last time what did you end up doing with the other chair or like the it's other just, it's couch just it's, sitting it's in the gonna other it's, you're gonna give to me right yeah oh I mean, yeah we, you we need some furniture like, yeah, to fill this house <laughs> there's a lot yeah. of space a lot of space the house that we we talked about already but it's like it's pretty it's bigger than the one i lived in before and it's just a lot of space to have to fill up we're trying to get some free furniture but it's really hard nobody wants to give me free furniture. <laughs> <laughs> i think they go to my page and they're just like um comedy is not our right. uh for uh, do you think not, we can make the couch funny <laughs> <for a video? laughs> so what are we gonna do with the couch that's gonna really perform in our sales i i don't know i was just gonna maybe post a story or something but yeah 
Yeah. Uh, should we should we kind of uh, should we say what's what else is new? About, oh yeah, we, about we do this have season. A, we do have a couple more changes Share for this season. Yeah. That's very exciting. Mariah is actually now full time producer of the Woo! show. Oh, baby. <laughs> she has been. She's uh, like I am. It's not, it's not nominated. She's been uh, promoted. promoted. She's been promoted. Oh, we gotta update that to LinkedIn. <laughs> <laughs> we'll endorse you on the skills. Yeah, we'll right. get everyone to endorse you. Which is the reason why you have like in the first like the three minutes you haven't like really heard her speak because she's like now she's going to be produced she's gonna be on the computer kind of like making so sure we're on track with what we're the talking scenes, about the show she's going to be doing like all the pulling stuff up she's going to be our jamie our jamie yeah. for joe yeah. rogan yeah but i already know because mariah she's not going to be able to shut her mouth for more <laughs> 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 i'm itching right yeah, now yeah i know i feel like she wants to say so much but you know mariah you know that you are still allowed to say whatever you yeah. want at they any point. They only gave me 50 words to say every episode. <laughs> yeah. yeah. People can counter on yeah. her. I act- uh, 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 uh. Use it wisely. <laughs> now that I'm thinking, I think I want her in like a producer outfit for every episode. I, I'll dress up. Skirt. I'll heels, in. Like, like a flight attendant. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> producer chic. And it's only these. Like when they tell you. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> this is just so wild getting used to you, though. Um, I feel like I'm like in a bit of like a fever dream. Like, yeah. oh, you, I had a dream last night, but we were in a different set. It's, it it's, does feel weird recording the show in a new room, though. Like, yeah. It's, it's cool. And you know what I love most about it? And I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry to put y'all on the spot, but there's fucking AC in this room. And don't, I hate it that there was no AC in the last room. Was there, there AC or there it was, there was just unreliable? It was, but it wasn't like. It was just soft. It's old. It was soft. Yeah. It wasn't blowing hard. Now we can. If if we wanted to, we could make this bitch like an ice box. Good, because um, I love picking cool. like cozy outfits. <laughs> yeah. for, we were recording an Christmas? episode. Oh, we yeah. almost had to move the set back to my house once we got this all set up in here. Mm. Why? We, we nah. plugged the lights in and put one camera in to do like a test angle. The whole room short circuited. Oh no! While oh, you were on your honeymoon, we were going through. <laughs> Fred, you gotta do some electrical engineering. It was yeah. intense. Uh, but yeah, it kept short circuiting. We'd reset it. And it just kept happening. We had four different electricians come out. They were trying to charge us like four. They were trying to charge us like eight thousand dollars. They're like, you have to rewire the Another, entire house, like do all this put stuff. Put holes on the walls because there's no like cross space. We're like, this is in my house. Like, I'm not trying. We're not trying to spend. But the reason why we did this ourselves was to save money, right? Because yeah. the last set was we so expensive. We just get a whole gas generator up in that <laughs> bath. They're like, sorry and, guys. And we just, and this was after everything was set, right? Yeah. So after everything was set, it just, everything just kept blowing out. And I looked at Heath, Heath looked like he was about to kill me. <laughs> I felt so bad. I felt like it was, it was my fault. It sucked. And uh, yeah, all we had to do was literally just have the lights go through one uh, breaker, which was from the bathroom. Okay. Because every bathroom has its own breaker. Oh, So we right. just have all the lights through uh, the bathroom and everything else is through the room and we're good. Good to go. Fascinating. But we do have to watch out. If you're ever thinking about plugging in a laptop to work, just be mindful of, of how much voltage. energy is. Flo- yeah, exactly. How much voltage. We're, be- we're being energy efficient here. Also, um, this shares the same energy source as the guest room. So whenever there's guests in town, I just have to really let them know not to blow dry their hair while we're recording oh, because right. that shit will blow out. The what is up with blow dryers though? How I, It's like the one appliance where you have to like deal with these buttons just to make sure that it goes. Do I guess they require that much voltage, but I it's 2023. You know what, Matt? There- I'm not surprised because look at the inside of a blow dryer and tell me it doesn't look like more mechanics in there than a, than a whole <laughs> Mac lab. Like it's, it looks like there's 18,000 little like wires in there yeah. that like have to like produce this heat. I know. It's crazy. I, I had like a, a mini meltdown the other day trying to figure out a, a mini meltdown. Yeah. You, ha- just you like, had a couple. It's okay. You well, maybe be this honest. Is, this be is separate, separate from doing the set. It was me trying to figure out how um, a wheel turns. Okay. <laughs> like I get it. I understand, but you need something that turns to turn a wheel. What right. makes that initial thing turn? And like, you know, like you put like like a, a little battery fan. Yeah. Okay, you plug the battery and you turn it on, but what is making the initial thing spin to turn a fan? And it was driving me God. insane. <laughs> um, and then I ended up looking it up and it's not what I thought. Heath almost, um, Heath almost died the other day. Oh, yeah. Elec- well, uh, electricity? Yeah. Don't play around with it. <laughs> no. So you remember the old set how we had the fake walls that were like eight inches off of the like yes. the main wall? So we had to extend the um the outlets to go through. Okay, yes. So when yes, we yes. pulled the walls out, there there were just an electric box extended out that was sticking out. So I had to take those off and put the original ones back on so it was flush with the wall. So I'm taking them off and I get them like ready to go. 
and I called my dad. I was like, dad, I'm not going to die. Right. And he's like, nah, you're all right. And I was like, are you sure? He's like, yeah, just not going to die from just because I, I had to, I had to cut the oh, wires shit. of the outlet so I could put the other ones in. Mind you, his dad has fully been electrocuted before. I've seen like, my dad get electrocuted floor, so many like, times. Ow. Like he just. Uh, it will lock and I've seen him fall on his back and it, it's been bad. But he's so uh, big though. That electricity would take so long to get through his like whole body. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Have fun. you ever had like an electrician come over and you can tell that they've been like, and they tried to hide it before they have that, like that weird, like <laughs> tweet going on. You're like, yo, this guy has some touch, some things he shouldn't That's have. That's funny. <laughs> Body's just used to it. Uh -huh. Um, so I was, I was on the phone with my dad. I was on FaceTime and he was <sighs> like, all like, right, my heart right he's now. He's like, you have, uh, do you have any like, wire cutters or anything like that i was like yeah but not like really good ones he's like okay um i was like i have uh like garden shears for like clipping like rose bushes he's like yeah that'll work so it's the one that has like the long fucking like blade that goes like this so i go and he's like all right you ready he's like all right cut the ground it's like okay so i popped it he's like good he's like all right now do your uh your neutral and i popped it and he's like all right you ready for the next one he was like, all right, you're going to cut hot now. And I was like, okay. He's like, do it quick. I was like, oh, like, shit. And I was like, should I just turn like the power off to the room? Like just flip the breaker. And he's like, not if you do it quick. <laughs> and I was like, okay. So I propped the phone up as I was getting ready to do it. And I put the garden shears in and I clicked it. And as I clicked it, my hand pushed it forward. And the metal of the blade touched the metal box. <gasps> so it just goes... Boom! <laughs> and it exploded a fireball into my face. What? And I jumped back across the room. Scariest thing I've ever experienced. I'm not, dude, I <gasps> I thought in that moment I died because it was so loud. It was like, boom! And my dad was like, you good? I was like, I think so. It's like, a wild feeling, like not knowing in that first two seconds, like if you're dead or not. Like, he was what, like did, God, did God take you? Like, is this it? Like, is this the? He was like, did you get electrocuted? <sighs> I was like, I don't know, but I'm freaking out right now. Like, I felt like yeah, everything was racing. Did, we, did, it, yeah, did, it, did you feel like, like a current had gone through you? Like, you know, those like shock buttons or something like that, I, that I, like flutter you up a little I, bit. I, I don't know. Oh, wow. I don't know. It happened so quick and my body jolted from like, I don't know if it was like from being electrocuted or if it was just like, yeah. Being startled. Um, my baby completed but, a circuit with his own body. Dude, it was the <laughs> brightest flash in my eyes. You could imagine. Like, I felt like I was welding without a, like. <laughs> Wait, you said you put your camera up to record it. No, Where's for my dad. I put oh. it up so my dad could see it. And I was like, what did it look like? He's like, it looked pretty badass. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> you got like special powers now. This is like your origin story of like. I can change the channel with my finger. <laughs> he, I don't it, need a remote. It's so funny the way you think, right? There was two things that is just like, I would have never done that, right? First was just not shutting off the electrical. Like it's just so simple yeah. to do that, right? But you're like, I'm going to keep it on. Then you set up the phone, which you should have been recording for your own just pleasure or yeah, just something yeah. to look back on to see how I stupid know. that was. And then you, it's just FaceTime. <laughs> like, there's just no proof. You have nothing to look back on. Just a memory. After making that it, would after be cool making if they like, like that. gave you an option to record like a FaceTime call, but both parties have to like agree, agree to, to it. Mm -hmm. But then again, that's kind of like, I don't know. You I mean, it's, it's like, possible. Do you want to record this? I don't know. It's possible. It's possible. <laughs> Uh, but, but yeah, it was, it yeah, was well, right. good. I'm glad you're alive and Same. well. This that would have started off our season on a bad <laughs> note. <laughs> What yeah. if you were like paralyzed from it? Like you were never the Stop. same. Stop. I, That's I, I baby, I'm saying insurance. insurance. I have a, a crazy fear of that. Like, like I am currently healthy right now. There's nothing wrong with me. Yeah. Right. That's but where you, you come like in people, currently. Sorry. <laughs> I have to pick up Mariah's puns now. Yeah, yeah. I have to do current. it now. <laughs> current energy. Um, like there's people that will get paralyzed and the day before they were completely normal, but it was like a freak accident. Like what if I'm living my life up to that day? And yeah. Like say like a year from now I am paralyzed and you don't know, but like my biggest fear is like, that's a tiny little thing like that. You know it what just I mean? It's so sad. I actually have a couple replacements in mind if that were to happen, but that's, so I could sad. still talk if I'm paralyzed. Oh, okay. Good. Okay. Just, I just wanted to make sure. But I do have a couple. I of think places. he's just. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I saw a, a, a TikTok recently about uh, the founder of Girl Scouts during her wedding when people threw like rice and like you know like seeds and stuff. You know how people do that when you walk out of a wedding. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The rice got lodged in her ear. 
from her wedding guests and caused her to lose her hearing. No. Oh, uh, from her he, wedding, from the rice? rice, from the rice people threw at the the bride and groom at a wedding went into her ear. The founder of Girl Scouts, and apparently a lot of Girl Scouts know this story uh, because I think they <laughs> say it in Girl Scouts. But yeah, it went in her ear. I always believe in karma, right? Her. I think that she wasn't listening ever, right? <laughs> or, Somebody was or, telling her something like, "Hey, you need to stop stealing from small girls." Stop stealing money, and she wouldn't listen. Uh. The rice went inside. I, I, be I believe. In or that she had a stuff. problem with like eavesdropping. Mm. It's like, you, oh, you want to keep, you know, Calm. you want to keep yeah. doing this. <laughs> this is off topic, but I just got my Tesla. Maybe like, maybe like. <laughs> Like three weeks ago, like, like brand new. You got a new one? Yeah, I got a new lease. I I okay. had the last one for two years, so like I got a new one, and you know it's exciting. I got a new car, smells good. The new car, you know, it's always nice. And then I I didn't have for three weeks. Right? There's already just there's a crack on the back of my uh the tail lights. I completely uh uh <laughs> rash. Like the biggest curb rash, you know, there's there's a small curb rash, but then there's a big one, right? A curb rash is when you just like rub against a curb and it scuffs yeah. up the body. Okay, but the on the rim. I oh, was on the rim. Okay, yeah. got I it. I was so upset and I was so embarrassed when this happened. I was actually leaving Erwan Heath. You were on the phone. I was talking mm -hmm. to you. I was leaving Erwan and the a car full of girls uh, is leaving <laughs> with me. They're, and they put the windows down. They're like. And I'm like, hey, I'm like, I'm on the phone with Heath. Like we're talking about probably like just something for the podcast and I'm I'm trying to leave, but like, you know, there's people behind me. I wanted to be sweet. So like, hey guys, how are you doing? And I'm driving as I'm leaving. So I'm like that whole like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, hey guys, how are you doing? And then I just, <laughs> boom, I fly, right? I hit this curb so hard <laughs> where my head, my windows are down. So my head goes out the window like this and I'm looking and I'm like, oh my God. I'm like, Heath, I just curb rushed so bad. I look at how I mean, they're all still filming. No. I, I want to see <laughs> and I'm just, how is it not up yet? How have I not seen this clip yet? Because that is the most embarrassing They looked at that and they were like, let's not even <laughs> share that. They just feel bad. It's you. crazy that's so the, the second time you did that too. Because remember you did it at Dunkin' Donuts in Florida? He, I, that's not the side. That, I've done this maybe 30 times. I'm so good. I'm a professional curb rasher. Yeah. I, I, I don't know. Because I have a I have a back, like a back mirror, or like back uh, rear view camera. So I I, I I shouldn't be yeah. curb rashing. But I like to just get as close as I possibly can uh -huh. every time. And I you just- You live life on the edge. I now, do. if it's still a lease and you get a curb rash, when you turn it back in, are they like, uh-uh, you I got you it. Have to, it's damaged. Yeah, oh. it's damaged. So you have to like pay, you have to pay for whatever damage. So it's good to like try to get somebody to uh, fix it for cheap. And right. And return it, yeah. <laughs> That's just the worst. Like those moments where you're in a car and just people are watching you, whether it's parking, like a friend being like, hey, pull in right here. People watching you park is the most like embarrassing. Super I stressful. don't mind. Yeah. I don't mind people watching me park. It's the, it's the curb. It's the curb brushing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but now that I got that out of the way, I'm good. Yeah. And then the back of my taillight is just, I, I think it was just like a rock from the highway or something. Cause it doesn't look like somebody hit it. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like somebody like threw something and it smashed a hole through. Cause it's like a, like a perfect yeah. hole in your taillight. But it just happens so quickly. Mm -hmm. It's just not fair. Like it, and now it looks like I did it. It's my fault. Even though I- the, the I had some car trouble fault. too. My uh, my car went into limp mode. This is your G-Wagon? <laughs> yeah. Oh What's a limp mode? Wait, is that a, wait. Where it only plays Limp Biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, so basically I went to go uh, get into my car and I started driving and I turned out of my neighborhood and I just went to get on the gas and it just goes, mm, and it will only do like 25 miles an hour. <gasps> So is it like, automatic or a manual car? It's, it's automatic, okay. but like it's just stuck. It will not go over 25 miles an hour. I'm flooring it, trying to go, and it just won't do it. Um, so, like, all right, this is weird. So I went back home. I looked it up, and apparently it's like a safety feature that if something is wrong with your car, it'll restrict you and put you in limp mode so you don't go too fast and make the issue worse. Oh, um, brand new car. It's bullshit, man. Uh, so I called the dealership and they were like, yeah, you're gonna have to get it towed in. Cause I couldn't get on a highway to go drive it anywhere. Oh, right. And I was like, okay. Did they at least pay for the towing? They did. They, okay, they, they good. Did, uh, they did cover the towing and everything. 
And yeah, I guess it was something to do with like a like a computer chip that went bad. Yeah. So they did like an update with the software and dude, these computer chips, man. When I like for my Tesla, it's a computer chip when you unlock and lock it, uh, your car, and if the chip just moves a little bit, you can't like unlock and lock your car. Yeah. Oh, what's crazy that I didn't even think about till the other night we went out to dinner together and they uh, the valet parked his car in the middle of like a hundred Teslas, and I was like. Oh my God, you can't even click your car to see the lights come on to know which one you are. I was uh, like, you have to walk up to every door and put your card up to wait, it to see. What? For, wait, are you talking about for uh Tesla's for your car? Well, that's no, normally people would have like the they have there's a there's a key you can uh give them. But like most a lot like half the people have like the card still. You have a physical key to click. I don't have a physical key, but you can get a key, but it costs like a but lot most of money. Like a little hot wheel looking key? Yeah, that okay. like David, David has one. Like for, for your Tesla. That like, doesn't come get. automatically when you get a Tesla? No, no, they, so, give, like, they, they give you key cards. So he has the card. I'm like, you don't even know which car is yours unless you walk up to the doors and swipe to see yeah. if it unlocks. So if there was a, you can't click the lights to flash. If there was a bunch of gray Teslas, I'd be like so screwed. I would have to check like inside every single car. Yeah. Wow. I guess, do you have like an app that you can like There's beat? also, you could also connect it to your app. Yeah, but I don't like use my app. I'm very right, traditional. Right. I don't, I don't trust the apps. Mm. <laughs> Your whole car the is only, an app. Yeah, the, my <laughs> entire, ever, my whole life is apps. But when it comes to my car, I don't trust uh -uh. it. They're setting us up for something. Did you see that video of that girl who got in a car and she like had like an Acura or like a Lexus? She's like, guys, I've had this car for three or four years. And just now I realized that I have a moonroof. She was like, I, I moved my knee and I realized that I have a whole like sunroof. Can you believe this? And she's like filming it and she looks down and she goes, oh my God, I'm in the wrong car. And she, get, <laughs> she, got, and she got in the wrong car right next to hers. It was identical, but and she was just freaking out that she realized that she had this moon in her lucky car. That it was just unlocked. Yeah, I guess so. But it was hilarious. Just this moment of her freaking out. Cause at first I was watching the video. I'm like, how did this woman oh not God. know? It just reminds me when I woke up that that's really funny my knee just hit something here and i get a notification moonroof op open oh shit this is not my car Shit! <laughs> 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 that is so God. funny i love people i love it i would freak out oh yeah absolutely so but you know what i'm surprised that she get Every, like, you know your car smell. Like, yes. if I get in someone else's car, I know immediately that it's not my car. Like, or you, like, see things that aren't your, like, I feel like. She just must have been in the zone that day. And they probably, Heath, if both people keep their cars clean, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's hard. Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our sponsor of this podcast, Prize Picks. And if you don't know what Prize Picks is, Prize Picks is the largest daily fantasy sports platform in North America. They're the easiest and most exciting way to play it. It's just you against the numbers. Instead of battling thousands of other players, including pros and sharks, you pick more than or less than on two to six player stat projections and watch the winnings roll in. Honestly, Price Picks is the most fun we've had winning up to 25 times our money this football season. And now we can play during basketball season too. This week, I have Anthony Davis for more than two blocks and Damian Lillard for more than four three-pointers made. Ask me why. And why is that? Because I asked my dad what to pick. Well, if you guys know me, I'm a huge sports freak. So for me, I picked Joe Burrow for more than two passing touchdowns and my baby Travis Kelsey for more than 75 receiving yards. You just found out about him because of Taylor Swift. No, I didn't. I just, I looked at Reddit and they told me what to choose. So I decided to do that. <laughs> See, look, testing our skills on price picks this season is the most exciting way to play daily fantasy sports. If you have the skills, you can turn $10 into $250 with just a few taps. And price picks is the only daily fantasy sports platform with an injury insurance policy. And price picks is really simple to play. I can make my picks and submit my entry in less than 60 seconds. And you're going to get quick withdrawals, easy gameplay, and an enormous selection of players. And stat types are what make price picks the number one daily fantasy sports app. Period. Price Picks offers a weekly promotions that can lead to big payouts like Taco Tuesday. Each Tuesday, Price Picks discounts select player projections up to 25% off to provide even more value. They also now offer Apple Pay for quick and easy deposits into your account this football season. Be part of the wave, baby, and go to pricepicks.com slash unfiltered and use code unfiltered for a first deposit match up to $100. Again, all you got to do is go to pricepicks.com slash unfiltered and use code unfiltered for a first deposit match up to $100. Daily Fantasy Sports. Sports made easy, baby. 
Thank you, Prize Picks, for sponsoring today's episode. We love you. Look at that. I love sometimes like seeing a TikTok and like you can always like identify. It. You're like, okay, that's yeah. Texas. That's Florida. Just oh. by like a little clip of it, you Speaking. already know. Speaking of identifying as you like immediately know, you know how people on TikTok do the the location geo guesser thing? Yes. They finally did it. They made a tournament for it. And I are saw. having competitions. Well, obviously they're not gonna let that kid join, right? But that wait, one kid. He's not he's, a part of it. He was like a like a host of it. He, yeah, he needs to be a host because he would just win. It would be so unfair. When okay, I used to really believe him. The stuff though about the dirt and they'll show it black and white and only like a clip of it when he started doing those challenges. And it would be like that's upside like, down for bullshit. But Matt, bullshit. I th- so when I like I think when I was going through the comments, because I'm just so curious about that whole thing too. I think he's live doing these. Like he'll go live and type it in, like, and it'll be like random. I think that's why everybody. And I believe he's studied it so well. And also, I don't know if GeoGuessr is truly that random or they're cycling through kind of the same shit. Yeah, where, where he can recognize. A, an yeah, image. he's just really good at memorizing what he's. Yeah, seen it's a, you memorize. Oh, in Thailand, there's always these yellow poles you see on the side of the streets, mm-hmm. and but then people you. Have had to, there's people out there that are trying to discredit him. Right? There's probably a whole team that's trying to discredit him. I'm sure that like. It really is random spot. I watched like the um, the final uh, question for like I guess the the, the location or yeah. okay where and was it? Uh, I forget. I think it was in Russia, but they were both people that were competing were so close to the actual to spot, the actual pin, like literally this far away. But one was this far away and wow. ended up winning. Wow. I think that's a fun hobby to get like sucked into because you're learning the world at the same time. Yeah. You're studying uh, architecture of different places, identifying plants, yeah. soil, road structures, rules and laws. And then that I think is just like infinitely fun. And then mm-hmm. once you've like mastered the world, it's like, I don't know. It, I'm surprised. Like, I'm, sur- like, I'm surprised the FBI hasn't like reached out to him. It'd right. Great. I love, I, know. I love it when people send in photos to him, like from their family's, uh, oh, album, yeah. and they go, my, this is my mom on a road trip with her family. Do you know where this is? And they're like, boom, and they find it. No, like, exactly that's it is. so cool. But yeah, the FBI should totally hire like to help that just to have like just send him uh, just a picture just to help solve a case, like to yes. end this, like or just to get yes. closure to families. Like, okay, could, where was this? You could totally solve some murders, yeah. or I, yeah, I would love that if like a dead body on dirt, he'll be like, ooh. He'll know mm. the dirt. Soil sample. Hmm. How? <laughs> he, oh, he doesn't need samples. He, yeah, uh, he'll, yeah. he'll know. Because I love going on, um, like, Carrollton, Texas, my hometown. They'll have, like, these fake book, Facebook pages where people will post photos of them from, like, the 40s or 50s, people in the town. Yeah. And they're, like, in front of some house. And they go, does anybody know where this is? And I've just always wanted to be like, tell this guy. Find it. I've tried to do my research, but sometimes I suck at it. Do you think at this point he gets hit up so many times where he just like charges a good amount where it's like, okay, what, this is I think, taking a lot I of time. I think it would time. depend like on what it would be. Like it, it, it's yeah. Cause it's like, you're not going to charge someone a thousand dollars to like his give agent, him a location. Like, hey, if you want him to solve two pictures, uh, that was going to be about 5k. If you want to do have him <laughs> just like back his deals to that solve. much money to like <laughs> identify it's where a photo is It's crazy that it's an insane talent that he works on the, I mean, now that there's like a championship involved, uh, but there's not really much money to be made in it. You know what? Unless guys, like you get hired by the FBI to be doing some sort of. I get it. I guess the money you made is just from the following you accumulate by solving it. But it's like, I don't know. It's a bit like a magician, though. I bet he doesn't go out that much because some people could be like, all right, where's Where? this? Where? And yeah, he's, he's like, I, I got a. <laughs> uh, I need my laptop with me. Like, some of that stuff requires more like uh-huh. research and. Uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie like shout out to gamers. I'm so happy that like the world of gaming has become so big. Yeah. And because back then it was just look so looked down upon the people that gamed and people that watched other gamers like years ago. Yeah. Like, yeah years yeah, ago. Yeah. People that gamed they were just like considered as like low lies. They're never going to um they're never going to be anything in life. They're never going to and now they just they're making more money than anybody. Yeah, it's in pretty, this in it's the like unreal. in an industry. It's 
people just awesome. in stream in general. It's fascinating. Yeah. Like I was on TikTok today and there was just a girl seven in the morning and she's just like watching Hocus Pocus 2 live streaming. And I'm like, how, how is this? Wait, and how can... is this homework? <laughs> how is this homework? I, or like, I want I'm like, how is Dizzy not cracking down that someone is just streaming a full episode no. on TikTok, but this That's girl just saying. ranking in gifts you... and just sitting there eating, watching Hocus Pocus 2. Can you make, are, are these streamers allowed to make money like that? Like watch a movie and- I get obviously if they can like send in gifts and stuff. And but you, are they taking the movie and putting it as a thing or they're. F f no, it's like it was like top frame, her, like her webcam, bottom frame, the movie. Yeah, I'm surprised like the system doesn't like detect get that. that. Yeah, detect that. But uh, I was like, if that's a career meet, just watch it in movies. Yeah. I'll be streaming all day. Uh, sign me up. I love how serious uh, esports, like physical therapy, has gotten. For the, oh, for what the, do you mean? Like wait, people what? massaging their hands for the and e stuff? athletes, like how serious they're like, oh, they're putting like their hands a, like an ice. Yeah, and like, like a professional sports team, like a football player with like the ice baths and the massages and like, you know, getting stretched out because they're like sitting and they need to be like limber and they have like specific chairs for like posture because they spend so much time. Right. And it's just like they, they have it dialed down to like a physical Heat. therapy science for these e-athletes and it's so crazy like it's so cool as uh, the second a lot of money starts getting involved you can find anything to fix oh, something that you need to get done for it's exactly right because remember when everybody wanted to ban violent video games because it was ruining the youth yeah oh now that there's all this money to be made where's that you know <laughs> i thought they were they were wait, turning us into violent there's money to be made in those games specifically there there's, there's wait, call there of duty Grand Theft oh, Auto. Oh, sorry, any sorry. That. Violent I, I was Fortnite? just thinking of call, uh, a Grand Theft Auto because I remember yeah. that used to be such a huge, like Call of Duty. I feel like those games were never like a, it was a I mean, it's full on combat. Fortnite yeah. though had a genius approach of like, lines. let's still have combat, but make it like quirky, cartoony and fun. And if somebody dies, they just explode in all of their, and <laughs> their <Jerry's> prizes <laughs> go everywhere rather. Cause it, Fortnite would have been that big of a thing if people were actually bleeding and dying on the game. Yeah. It like opens up that, Kids can play it too, but oh, and there, and Fortnite there, looks so complicated now. Like, what the hell is it? Is. Like, there's a lot of color. There's a lot of color going on too. Like, there's always some new little weapon there on a broomstick gliding <laughs> through some like. Uh, but that, that's good for them though because they'll never run out of ideas. Mm -hmm. They could always come up with something. Yeah, there's no excuse. So genius too. Give them the game for free and then charge them for everything. That's that's the if move. you could come up with your own type of championship for a live or like for for a gaming like this, what would you do? I I I love how simple games like Wordle and Connections are too. Yes. Yeah, like uh, I've been playing that a lot. It's that oh, again. Connections! We're, a, we're addicted. Oh, have we? Can we do the Connections? Matt, <laughs> okay. Is was it like this for you and you guys too? The first time I played Connections, it was pretty like easy, and then the next time, the second game I played, I was like, okay, it's getting a little harder. It gets harder every. But I think they make the first and second game easy to get you addicted. To and get you addicted. No, everybody has the same game. I yeah. think you're, oh shit okay yeah you're right you're right but, but your why brain was it? I think because your brain starts overthinking it more and more and more and you're you like right I'm missing now. something There's it's no like way. diffusing a yeah. bomb on that game sometimes because you're sitting there going I don't know because they they'll trick you but my strategy with connections is you always go for the one doesn't make sense out of all of them if you guys don't know what the game connections is it's on your like times uh, New York it's on times the New York games. Times app four words have a connection yeah so there's four categories of four words and you try to find the common theme or connection, but they'll get you because some of them are so that, similar. That one's such bullshit. The, the last one where it's a word, a, a blank word, and then the word I after. I like that because that's like a guarantee. So then I'll start sitting there going like, oh, hard seltzer, hard candy, hard drive, like boom, boom, boom. Like that, the pop culture ones but the are, thing is are that, like- that It's not like that every single time, right? They don't have a blank word every single one, do they? Usually. Usually that's the thing. If they had it every time, then it'd be good, but they don't have it every time. So you have to sit there and you have to try to guess if there is a blank word with yes. any of these words. I just love, ooh, there was the bra parts the other day where that one I couldn't even catch. Oh, I, it, yeah, was I, cup, it was cup, wire, strap, and and I was like, what the fuck are those? And yeah. It was all parts there, all he, there was one purple one. You would have been so proud of me. Which I, one? I, 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 Forgot. I think I screenshotted, but oh my god, you'd have been so good. proud. Of yeah, that was the first one I got to. I yesterday oh. was my first uh, purple first with the uh, the blank. Your first word. purple Ooh. purple. Good. Right. Yeah. yeah. When dude. you get yeah, when you start off with that purple, it's just smooth sailing from yeah. there. Maybe. <laughs> you getting the hard part out of the way first. Yeah. 
I've been getting so Alba. frustrated with Capital. mobile gaming apps. The reason why I love the New York Times crossword app is because it's so simple. It's there, there's no ads. Yeah, you gotta pay for it, but it's good. Then, but when you go and look at all of these other gaming apps out there, you're like, it's just junk. Yeah. The, the, in, if it's not like too much of an established gaming app, there's just ads every fucking time you're I trying know, to but play you're, but, you, but like you're paying for it. Like that New York Times puzzle thing, you're paying what? Like 25, 30 bucks a month? $40 a oh, year. Oh, you, you pay for the membership? Oh, $40 a year? Oh, you see, I'm a prime member. So I- <laughs> <laughs> What else are you getting yeah, yeah, that yeah, I'm yeah. not so, getting? Yeah, so because I solved a crossword puzzle in under four minutes. So now I have this badge. Uh, uh, I'm just sweating out of envy. <laughs> Oh, by the way, uh, happy Halloween. Today is Halloween. Oh, is it today? Yeah, oh, it's today. Man, I have dressed well, up. Yeah, it's right. today. Have you, have, you have you guys got your costumes together? Kind of. I, Matt, I'm hate, I hate I hate Halloween done. more and more every year. It is stressful. Because I feel like everybody else is taking their time doing it, so you you feel like you have to, or you just look like a loser. I hate Halloween also in LA. It's such a yeah, fucking- Yeah, because it's, it's like, who looks, It's it's because it's not who's the funniest. I don't yeah. think that matters. It's who looks the the hottest. Yeah, the who sexy. put the most money into their outfit. I, I, it, I love Halloween this season. <laughs> Costumes for me is like the last afterthought. I like the vibe of Halloween just, and like welcoming yeah, in the Yeah, yeah, everything spirit. outside of the looking for costumes is fun. Yeah. I don't like the fact that there's a party every single day for five days before. <laughs> and <laughs> you have to have a different outfit for every single one. Yeah. like Or, no, or people point and laugh. Doing a, a repeat outfit out here? <gasps> no, no, you would shame. never. Yeah, that's, oh, you oh you're the same thing from last. Oh, night. you'd be on the first page on Reddit if that yeah. were to happen. Oh, uh, man, it's bad. Uh, but yeah, we got we got a. a what's your what's your what's together. your costume, Joe? Mariah Let's and I are doing it. the Reno nine one one DUI scene. Oh, Ooh, I yes. Love the step bump, bump step bump bump. bump. Uh, we're doing that. How perfect! Oh, I love that. And then she's doing um, Edward Scissorhands, and what's your other one? Right, you should be Edward Scissor Dance. <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> like voguing. Yeah, that's fun. Patricia's out of town, so I couldn't do any couple costumes with her, but I'm doing like Roman Empire with Will <gasps> Arden and oh! Jordan, Jordan is doing, doing Julius Caesar. <laughs> oh, perfect. Well, we can all pose together. <laughs> and we're doing that for David's party. And then, I don't know, Rebecca Black's having a party, but I don't know what we're going to be. What day is it on? Black Saturday. Friday. <laughs> Oh, right. Originally, it was Mariah to coming be in high. <laughs> Get this thing away from me. <laughs> no, I can't. Um, I, mine was interesting. Someone, uh, someone gave this to me, and I was like, oh, this is sick. Um, Dr. Frankenfurter from Rocky Horror Show. Yes. I haven't seen that one before. Oh, that's Unless good. it's been done. What? Oh, my gosh. You're going to kill it. I'm a sweet transvestite. That's a costume that Todd 100 percent would do and kill. Look. Oh, are you gonna do it with the just smock? like that? Just okay, like that, the smock. Yeah. yeah. Oh, um, Tim Curry. Gosh, he was amazing. I know. It's crazy knowing that that's Tim Curry. You know, he has a, he had a stroke and he's like, uh, he's just not this. He can't act anymore. Oh, he's like damn. 80, but he is I iconic tim curry his songs like his albums of music that he made like back in the 70s are so good he was like the villain in uh home alone 2. oh yeah he was also the he was also wow. uh the original it yes the clown? yes pennywise really? cool. he, yeah tim curry's the best you should totally do that i always thought like yeah you would kill it's crazy that we always say it the clown it's pennywise right what made it it like why did they say it oh because i don't actually don't know why they say it because i think Pennywise is the clown's name, but it is like what it is. Like that's it's so coming interesting to get that you. that's just because like, he takes on like different forms and stuff. Like Penny Pennywise uh, finds what mm -hmm. it's it that will get you. Right, I right. That. I think that's right. Maybe I'm Not, wrong. No, Hell, that, no, that's it. Book. That's it. And we're sticking. <laughs> Here we go. Um, and then I was gonna do you know like those uh, the comic book like. Oh it's, yeah, it's, like, all uh, it's all like Roy Lichtenstein yeah, yeah. pop yeah, art kind I was of just stuff. Gonna, I was gonna try something like that and see. If <laughs> I there's one I want to do, but I feel like no one's gonna get it. Uh, <laughs> what? what? Is it? Oh, have you seen Fantastic Mr. Fox? Yeah. No. Uh, it's one of the. No, no, I know what it is, but I've never seen them. Oh, it's just one of like the sons or whatever. And I saw someone on TikTok do it. I'm like, oh my god, that's so good, and I really want to. Oh, and then one more. Mariah came up with this idea. I love it. She's so good at Halloween costume ideas, by the way. You know Rob Schneider from Fifty First Dates? Yes. <gasps> yes. In the video, in the video where she's watching with the coconut and the. <laughs> Dude, that's perfect. Your your wig just arrived, by the way. 
oh, thank you. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> it's a mop head. I'm like, what is this? I forgot. Yeah, yeah. Dude, that's gonna look perfect. So good. I wanted to recreate the scene. It just, see, I didn't know. I thought that was in the actual movie. I, I forget that it was in the foot, like in the oh, video. Oh yes, where he was just uh, dressing up. So for funny. Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our sponsor of this podcast, HelloFresh. And if you live under a rock and you don't know what HelloFresh is, HelloFresh is a food delivery service where you get farm fresh, pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. Skip trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. That's why it's America's number one meal kit, baby. And mine too. And with so many in-season ingredients, you'll taste all the freshness of fall in every bite of HelloFresh's chef-crafted recipes. Produce travels from the farm to your door for peak ripeness you can taste. And HelloFresh does all the shopping and meal planning for you. Ingredients arrive at your doorstep pre-portioned and ready to cook, along with pictured step-by-step -step recipe cards. How easy is that? And it's so easy, but for some reason, Zane still can't figure it out and lets me do everything when it gives you all the pictures and step-by-step -step instructions on how to do it. No, no, you're not lying, though. I, when I read, I need to have pictures in myself. Like, that's the only way that it, like, comprehends, you know? And we all know HelloFresh takes the hassle out of mealtime, but did you know it can also save you money? HelloFresh is 25% less expensive than takeout, so that means you get an easy home-cooked meal on the table and more money in your pocket. And you can turn to HelloFresh Market for yummy add-ons and enjoy the season's limited-time fall flavors lineup. Feast on desserts like the apple cider cake with caramel sauce. Ooh. Ooh. Or please a crowd with appetizers like the barbecue pulled pork nachos. <laughs> uh, and don't forget the mini pumpkin cheesecakes. Oh, Zane's not going to forget those. Don't worry. Perfect for a me time treat. So if you're ready to try HelloFresh, all you got to do is go to HelloFresh.com slash 50unfiltered and use code 50unfiltered for 50% 50 off plus free shipping. Again, go to HelloFresh.com slash 50unfiltered and use code 50unfiltered for 50% 50 off plus free shipping. Thank you so much, HelloFresh, for sponsoring this podcast. We love you. All right. Let's just, let's get down to business. Let's get to what everybody wants to talk about. Yeah, I don't Matt, know. let's the hot see juicy it. Hold shit. it up. I don't know if the people who are watching, if you <laughs> noticed, I got a ring on my left Ow! hand right my here. My man is a married man. I have a wife. Woo! I have a wife. And not only does he have a wife, his wife is actually here with us today. Mrs. King. This is our first. Mrs. King. First time Woo! we've had Patricia King as a guest. Welcome, Patricia. <laughs> <laughs> welcome mic, to the unfiltered set um i'm glad that you brought your uh wife to bring your it's, a, it's like bring your bring your wife to work day for a very very long time we've wanted you on this show uh -huh. but we figured mm -hmm. why not just wait <laughs> until right, right that's after that's okay. the wedding no trust me we've been talking about it for like a good <laughs> we year were gonna have half. you when you guys were engaged to talk about it and then we we're like okay let's just let's it's just gonna wait. come let's quick just like, let's just yeah <laughs> because we know um, it's gonna be hot a lot of stuff was going to happen, and right. we're like, oh, we should just wait. So I'm just so excited to hear y'all's side of everything. Yeah. Oh, like, I mean, it was unbelievable, guys. Seriously, yeah. it was absolutely beautiful, and I love the fact that that's where your parents got married. Mm -hmm. So you guys did it there. It's That's really same cool. Same reception, same church. Yeah, like, I love that. Zane made uh, it, me take yes. the same photo as my mom. <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. So uh, we were, uh, I was one of Matt's um, groomsmen, right? So we got to just kind of... Uh, see Patricia's uh, home where she grew up in, which beautiful, by the way. Oh my God, Mariah, he, the way they set their house up, you would have know, died. Oh, did you guys I'm, not get to see it? Oh, because you guys yeah. could make the brunch. So right. my yeah. favorite part about the house is that every single spot in the house is filled with either pictures, knickknacks. It just made, it made me feel so homey. It made me feel so, like I didn't want to leave. And I 100% want to go back and stay there you for can. like a good week. Anytime. Oh, please. It was Anytime. just, it was such a beautiful home. Yeah, Zay was saying like, oh, I love this. I'm like, why do you think I visit so often? <laughs> yeah, it's it so was great. Yeah. So nice. And while I was looking through all like the pictures and stuff, because there's a lot a to lot look at. To look there's at. there. I see a picture of Patricia's uh, mom on her wedding day. Uh-huh. It was her in front of the altar, but it was what I loved about this picture is that it was just her. It was usually it's the the, right, the right. husband and the wife, but it was just her in front of the uh, in front of the uh, altar. altar, and it was just like a flash picture. I'm like, and I'm looking at, it, I'm like, wow, I really like that. This is just her by herself. Like it yeah. just seems different. Like right. I feel like I haven't seen that yet, and um. And I didn't think too much. I didn't even know that was the church that we we're going to be in. And once we got to the church, I was like, oh my God, this is the same church. I'm like, this is insane. Yeah. And 
And um, I'll, I go to Patricia, or I didn't go to Patricia because she was so busy. I, I remember going to one of either her uh, one of her bridesmaids or her mom, and I was like, "We have to recreate." Sorry, I know this is not not yeah, my yeah. day, but you <laughs> have to like recreate this picture. Like, please, just do it. You're gonna look back, and you're gonna be glad you got it because you could like put it side by yeah, side. Yeah. And they they took the time to like do the picture exactly it. they looked at the picture like she's facing this they way this way it, like pulled up yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and they up. got it done so cool. it was so, so cool thank you because i would never would have thought of that I, never but like it's because you have a million pictures in the house so how would you have ever you probably haven't seen that picture in years <laughs> no, <laughs> so much going on but yeah that was really cool you guys did that the whole wedding i love how traditional it was i love how like it was um done at a church it was so I, that was my first church wedding Really? So it was, yeah, it, I, I felt mean, very holy. I felt like all my sins were forgiven. I felt like a, <laughs> just a new man. Did it, okay, I'm so curious. Did it feel long for you guys? Or? Oh boy. Oh, oh, God, because I was, it was long for I me. was buckling. If I kept, anybody I kept sitting. looking at Zane because I knew Zane was dying. He was. He just kept doing this. And he was <laughs> just, just dipping. Kept on, I kept seeing his knees. And I kept thinking about it because he kept on telling me, you don't buckle your knees or you will you faint. Have to, like, which is so crazy to me. Like, does it make sense that like you have to just like not yeah, bend yeah. a little bit so you don't lock them. Yeah, and that's all I was thinking about. Like, I barely heard what was happening at the altar. I was just like, don't lock don't your do knees. It, don't don't do lock it. your, because if I just, imagine I just fell. <laughs> <laughs> it happened middle. a lot. Yeah. He was even a saying, lot. the pastor yeah. was saying. Oh yeah. He said that he had could count or over count on his hands how many times he has like seen people who have passed out. And wow. y'all, they, you guys were kind of enjoying yourself before we were going in. <laughs> they were having shots and My everything. My dad was and, bringing the shots. And like, I was like, please well, guys, go. It's crazy because like Patricia and Matt should be the only ones nervous, but like everybody is nervous. Yeah. Everybody like the, the bridesmaids, the groomsmen, everybody is feeling just as nervous as my Patricia. We're all like, Oh my God, we have to like make sure it's perfect. Uh -huh. Nobody can screw up. We're in a church. <laughs> You know what I mean? It's not like outside where like something happened. Like this is the church of the Lord. Like it, this is like, he's looking down upon us and we got to make sure we're on our best behavior. Right, right, right. And I, there was a few times I cussed in there. I did. I was just nervous. <laughs> but I felt like I was forgiven immediately because I was inside mm. the church. I was yes, inside the holy exactly. place. Exactly. And the Greek church is very forgiving, I would say. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. Y'all get y'all get crazy. It's though, so yeah. wild though, like the nerves on your wedding day, like that experience of just mind, body, and soul and everything. There's it's so hard to describe because when it's happening to you, you can't you've never experienced anything like it. So yeah. like, I was so nervous, but it wasn't like the the nerves about like getting married. It's just, I think it's the nerves of being just so present for a moment that you're never going to forget. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you think also in that moment when you walk into the church and you're surrounded by so many of your like friends and family that you think you're gonna like be able to like see everybody in your brain and in that moment, but no, it's like, it's, it's, it's all, all a blur. Almost. Yeah, it's all like a blur because uh, it's and all, all attention is like on you guys. Yeah, so that was at all like every moment, you know, just people are looking at you and that's got to be like. And also the way we were set up, you know, in the Greek church, sometimes bride and grooms are facing each other the whole time or they're kind of countered out to the audience. Everyone behind us was such an afterthought because yeah. we're just focused on Which is the Lord. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. honestly, if I had to sit there and stare at everyone, it would be honestly it would be fun. But it was like. Kind of nice. I didn't have to sit in the chair. Anybody? I feel like, like it kind of made it feel like a little bit private for you guys and more intimate. Yeah. 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 Nice. In, like, um, I could see it in your guys' eyes too. It felt like a very private moment. There's. I remember halfway through, Patricia looks at me. She's just like, <laughs> like <laughs> because it was it was it was, it was long. It was long. But it was you know it was not as long as it could have been. Exactly. It could have been it longer. Was, they oh, yeah. like because we had four priests up there. They got everyone down the aisle. They kind of just went, they went pretty quick with it. Yeah. I've think, been to I one and it, it's, if you do it right after Greek Easter, it's, they have to do all the Greek Easter, like chants, gotcha. or singing, whatever. And it was like an hour and a half long. It was awful. It was it also quicker cool though. to like watch because it's totally different than any other wedding that I've been to, to with like the, um, the crown where you, they put it on each of you and they go back and forth and then they do like the walk around. Like it felt like it was something new to see. So it didn't, it kind of like broke it apart and you're just more right. like, wow, this is really beautiful. Like the whole it's ceremony. a bit of like a challenge though. When you're up there with that crown balancing that, then we're holding a candle the whole time and you're I trying to remember to breathe. A... And then when you breathe, you might let out the <laughs> candle and then you're trying to balance that thing out. Dude, it was a bit of a balance. I kept act. having a fear like a gust of wind was going to come through and your veil was just going <laughs> to hit that candle. I was like, please do no, not. No, no. Oh, and man. they put your rings on like, 
in the beginning. Like that's like the first thing that oh, happens. Patricia. And they put and it on your right hand too. So oh. that's I've just the way they do it. I've never on my wedding band on my right hand because, you know, didn't really She was so used to having it. it on the left. Well, you, your right hand is thicker. <laughs> it didn't go over. Like it literally was stuck oh, before my. So like, I'm, I see them put it on her finger, and it's it doesn't reach <laughs> past it her middle. Barely. And I'm like, I'm looking. I'm like, that's because so I funny. thought it was her left. I thought it was her uh, the hand. I'm like, yeah. what happened? I thought they like switched up the rings, and we got a whole different one. Well, just put down them damn donut. And <laughs> it, it was like my hand was swollen that day because I mean I'm sweating up there too because I'm wearing this dress that is very heavy and it's hot up there. I've got this candle. The ring doesn't fit, and I'm like, oh god. And then I'm like thinking, I hope it doesn't fall off. But luckily, my finger was this finger is just so much bigger than my left hand that it was. I was hoping that after the fact that I actually could get it off because it was on there so tight. Yeah. It was so bad, but. That's really funny. And uh, yeah, everyone was laughing because they thought it was my left hand. And they're like, wait, why didn't you try this on beforehand? Well, yeah. Yeah. Um, it, but it, yes, everything was really, really beautiful. Thank and I you. loved your dad, how excited he was after he gave a speech. Because he, he was so nervous. He was like, I, I don't know how I'm going to do this. Everybody on Matt's side is like a, a speaker. and Oh, he went talk. to you too. He said the same was, thing to me. He was <laughs> he so was, He would nervous. run his speech by anybody who was willing to I listen. heard his speech. He did amazing. He did, he did. so good. He did. Yeah. He really did. And I was so happy for him that he got it done with. And it was kind of, it did suck that the microphone <laughs> it was like Honestly, going out in the beginning. We talked to him about that after it was like, it kind of like broke the tension though. Like yes. the, the fact that it went out, everybody got like a laugh. It was funny. And mm -hmm. then it was just like, okay, now here's the new one. Like you get to like have a, a refresh. Right. Yeah. Um, so I think it ended up working out for the best. Yes. And even the ceremony the night before, oh yeah, that the, was just so like insane where that could have been the wedding <laughs> that could have been the wedding reception that's how we felt because I, like, I walked in i almost forgot that like oh wow oh there's a they're, we're, they're getting tomorrow. married tomorrow right. so yeah this is all really it felt nice like two-day wedding yeah it was stacked up it yeah. was like coachella we had something like every night Yeah, whoever set that all up did an amazing job from shout like out. start to end that was well, shout out to our wedding planner megan, megan wyatt. wyatt she's fantastic yeah that Best was wedding wild. planner we could have ever had and also just thank you to everybody who was part of the entire uh process of the entire wedding we were yeah just so nice and then the um i love the picture i'm gonna talk about your mom a lot because i am <laughs> I, <laughs> in love with your mom. <laughs> i'm obsessed with your mom like the I, I feel like the, that whole like weekend i kept looking at her i was like i want my wife to be like that <laughs> She, she's awesome <laughs> she uh she had a she had a portrait did you see the portrait in the reception hall of um her mom was it her mom yeah but grandma. grandma yeah your grandmother and they're in the same dress she's oh. she they're i feel like they think uh what's it called when i feel like mariah's like this too like very like um oh i want to wear this dress because my grandmother yeah. wore it it's yeah. very um what's the word yeah sentimental sentimental yeah, sentimental yeah. Se 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 <laughs> sentimental sentimental it's very sentimental when she did that and i love that about her yeah but she was standing right next to it and that was so cool to see too like in the same dress a portrait of like your grandmother so my grandmother is was a spitfire she i was named after so oh, i'm very lucky but she decided one day that she I'm wanted sorry, to get she was a what? A spitfire. Spit what is that? What is that? Just mean? like I don't know. You're like a pistol. You're like yeah. you're, oh, okay. You're just you know, like, I kind I kind of got that. I'm surprised you did it. Well, I I didn't know if it was like a oh like a bowling club or something. <laughs> like she, like <laughs> that does like a bowling like a bowling club. It, it, it sounded, she was in the Spitfire. It yeah. sounded like a like a flapper like gang type oh. thing or like in Greece <laughs> like she was part of the Spitfires and then there was like the just other, all like, badass. So they're like the top one. Yeah. Top yeah. <laughs> Well, she decided one day that she wanted a portrait made of herself. Um, she got this Man. custom dress, wore it for the portrait, was in her closet until the day she died. She never wore it again. And when my mom was looking for a dress, all the mother of the bride dresses are just, eh, yeah. just very old lady kind of. And my mom and I both were like, why not just wear Yaya's dress? And it fit her perfectly. And then at that point, we have the portrait, which is massive. None of the kids, like, we, I think, they might put it down at my grandparents' lake house. I don't know. So we're like, might as well put it in the cocktail hour room. And yeah, just have her yeah, like no, there. I thought it was such a nice just, touch. Like, it was beautiful, like, yeah. It's like, why not? It'd be silly. I know, I feel like I didn't even get to really see that portrait because that whole area was supposed to be like our cocktail hour. Yeah, I didn't so know. It was guys, so big, oh, you, I didn't know where to go. You guys ended well, up seeing the reception venue before we did. Like originally the plan was that there was a cocktail hour that was like inside, outside oh, in that right, separate right, right. ballroom. Oh. And then it was going to reveal it to you guys. And you can Right when it. I walked down the aisle, their outdoor bar got completely shattered, fell everywhere. 
Uh, like before they, we arrived. Before we arrived. Because the and wind. So oh, shit. There was no way that they could have 400 people with one small bar in a cocktail hour room. So they're like, you know what? We'll just open up the ballroom and just, you, you oh, know, we can't. Th- yeah. God. Was the outside even uh, open? You could people? still go outside, but there wasn't a bar out there anymore. God, because, yeah. like, I mean, at that point, the wind was so bad, it's not like they could set it up again. Yeah. Right. I mean, they could, but. So when we risking. like, yeah, so when we arrived, we were told everybody is already in the reception. People are just like hanging out, like eating and stuff. We were like, oh my gosh, awesome. And we got to go up into like a private room where we ate privately, which is nice because oh. you want to, oh, cause you're, I didn't even you're realize that you guys were like gone. The moment you walk onto your wedding, people are going to start pulling you left and right. You got to be like busy entertaining the whole time. And so they gave us this private little moment for us just to eat. And we had our own drink and, and oh, we wait, gonna, that's and a we really good idea. And we were going to have a private viewing of the ballroom before y'all did. But Watch it. All the, pe- all the peasants party on your well we wanted to see you know because once you're in there you don't really get to see what you've been planning for for a year or yeah. whatever and, and there were still parts of the room i never saw but obviously but it was that fu- didn't happen and it was fine but and it yeah. was funny when we were eating because they're like do you guys want to like see what it looks like we're like well we don't want to like go out and just take a peek they go no there's a private little window that we can show you guys so we got to like go up to where like you know the tech was it like a two way yeah yeah uh, and, well cool. we thought no, nobody could see thought. us and so we were looking and we're like wow oh my gosh look there's everyone oh my gosh and then like one of my uh cousin's friends was just like waving at us like the we're whole like, time oh, no, we're oh, like oh, no. oh all right oh, so it wasn't too. Yeah. and then uh but it is it's incredible being showered by like that much love. Yeah. Like, you, with, like it was, every it was time. So and the good thing about, okay, yes, we had 400 people there. That's a lot of people. But we had Thursday night, we had Friday night, and Saturday night. So by the time Saturday night came around, I felt like we really spoke with a majority yeah. of our people because we got to see them Thursday right. night. We got to see them Friday night. And then Saturday night, obviously, there were people that we didn't see Friday or Thursday, and we spoke with, and other people that we have seen, but it wasn't like... We felt obligated to go around and speak to every single. Yeah, you got to person. have your moment. Yes. God, how stref- how stressful is it? Like no, like spending so little time with each person and just hoping that they don't feel like they didn't have enough time. I still think I, that, that would kill me if I my, at my wedding. Like if I spent only thirty seconds with someone, I'm just like, I, if what if I don't see them for the rest of the time? They're gonna like hate me after. I that's I still think that, but. Or the, what, yeah, okay. I thought the same thing and just a big thing I was just gearing up for for the entire wedding was just like be present for these people in these moments. And yeah. so like even though if it's like a short moment with your wedding guests, like don't break eye contact. Be really like being like, thank you so much for being here yeah. and making sure that you're doing that every time and making it like sincere when you do walk away from it. You're like, you know what? No, I gave even if it was 30 se- 30 seconds long, yeah. you gave them that moment. It's just good practice that the day it happens for Matt, you. Zane. Matt, you should be like uh, a like like you're a wedding expert. I feel like at this point, you should be like a wedding advice person because you've been to so many and now you've. Had your I own totally wedding. would. So now could. you could just like you could come up with your own little like little yeah sp- like speech. Uh, you could go to colleges. Just, you could yeah, do, like, little like consultations mm-hmm. and like oh yeah oh yeah. You got the wedding planner and then you have Matt. Yeah, the wedding, just my the own wedding little like spiritual guru. Oh, and, then, and then going out at night at those bars, so fun. <laughs> oh, did you guys have a good time going out? Yeah, the, because uh, so yeah. We, we all went to this like one, I forget what, what it was called. It was between two. We went to one and we got there and it was completely empty. Just nobody there. And the entire place was all filled up, like all 250, 300 people from, with our own people. It was all us. So, and the, nobody was prepared. The bartenders weren't prepared. The DJ wasn't prepared. Nobody was. So when they, when everybody started rushing in and the DJ saw all these girls coming in there, they called, yeah. he called all his boys yeah. and it went from one DJ to like eight on the stage. And they're all just like, just like moshing like this and just like looking, just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, look what we did. <laughs> Oh. Wait, was this the like burlesque show place that you guys went one night? No, no, I know y'all went to a strip club. That was club. the first <laughs> night. That was the first night. But um, uh, which yeah. I just have to say, I reached out to so many bars in Birmingham asking like to like, hey, can we do? Can we rent out a bar? Can we do this? Can we do that? They're like, well, this is our busy night. I'm like, okay. And then some of these places we went to, they weren't even packed. And I'm like, I tried. Yeah, like I right. tried to let people know, but it, no, it was fun. I, like going out after at those two places was so funny. There was a couple funny things that I wanted to, to fill you in about. Oh, okay, please. please. Um, yeah. It wasn't like to do with the wedding, but it was at the hotel. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, it was the the day before uh, I went to go down to the little restaurant that's at the hotel. They had like food or whatever. So I go down there and I go to like place an order and I'm sitting there and like one of the chefs like comes out and just starts talking to me. Everybody's so personable. They're just like sweet and like want to uh-huh. just chat it up. 
Uh, so we're like talking or whatever. And she was like, yeah, the other day we had, um, this new girl that was working and she didn't know like any other, like other workers or whatever. And some guy just walked in, went to the back of the kitchen and started cooking and cleaning and like running orders worked the entire day. It was just some homeless guy that walked in <laughs> your line and literally was writing down orders, bringing food out, refilling. Taking tips, too, probably. I don't know if they were taking <laughs> Wait, where was it? where was this happening? At the hotel. Which Wor hotel did you guys stay at? The Hilton. Right? The Hilton. Okay. Worked the entire day in the kitchen doing orders. At the end of the day, goes to the new girl, she, and he goes, uh, so how do, I, how do I get my money? <gasps> like, she was like, what do you mean? Like, and he was like, what, like, can I get it now? And she was like, I don't, I don't think I understand what you're talking about. Come to... She then finds out he doesn't work there. And it was just like some homeless dude that she was with the entire day Whoa. working with. <laughs> and he was just like, so how do I just get my, do I, do I get my, do I get my money now? And I hope he gets a job. Yeah. Hopefully they hire him. Um, they ended up just like giving him like free food and like, I guess. Uh, uh, give him, give give him, him a money. check. He, if he, he, obviously he ran your kitchen. Yeah. And y'all didn't take the question. Orders were up. <laughs> yeah. yeah I mean, how did he know like how to. Wow, Everyone's getting pretty, this shit quick. This whole thing was like, damn, though. I got my food quick Just, today. The fact that he like clocked in, walked in, and was just like, let's do this. Wow. <laughs> just back That's there hilarious. to like, burgers. Like, <laughs> wow. Amazing, though. That but really yeah, I, she was telling me that story. I was like, this is so funny. And I think it's a newer hotel as well. So like, she's probably new, but also the hotel is new. Yeah. So like, the staff is they just hired a whole new staff because they knew there was a wedding happening. They're like, "Yo, we need we need backup. We need backup here." Oh, by so the way, funny. your the band that played at your wedding reception. Oh yeah, <laughs> the, main, the main attraction amazing. band. Shout out to them. Unbelievable. They were really fun. I'm starting to really like. I feel like I'm starting to focus every now every wedding I go to. I'm just I can't wait to see who the band is and how they perform. Oh, they had like the best like introduction to all of them. Yeah. Like, oh man, we do want to clarify though. Some people, so Patricia, if people saw online that she uh, performed, uh, uh, what, uh, what's the song? That called? was not staged, not planned. I was not supposed to be changing into that dress. I was sweating so much. And I knew that I had that dress in a, uh, Megan's car, my wedding planner's car. And I said, Megan, I have to get this dress off. Cause I already had taken off the big skirt. So it was just like the regular dress, but yeah. I had like three layers under the main or the base of the dress still. Uh -huh. And I'm like, I can't dance for another hour and a half with this dress on. Are you supposed to? Like, is that like- Sometimes people do, oh, I mean. Okay. But I hadn't tried that dress on in over a year. Okay. So like the one that I changed into. Uh -huh. So by the grace of God, it fit. And then all of a sudden, Proud Mary came on. Which and is that the Tina Turner song. Okay. It's like one of her favorite songs and they start playing it. And I remember that whole time I was like, where's Patricia? This is her favorite song. And you came right out in that dress and they brought you on stage and you nailed it. Yeah, that was sick. It looked like you guys rehearsed that. No. And it you, wasn't you rehearsed. Kind of going with the dancers too. I because remember, it's the Tina Turner dance. Yeah, no, yeah. it was good. I love that. Fun. It was such a vibe that it's whole fun. night. Thank yeah, you. it was a really, really fun night, guys. Thanks guys. How was, that, so how was that morning? Coming. That morning after, because we left early. Surprisingly, not too bad. It was pretty busy though. A lot of people were at. I was a little. House. I was worried though if we were going to get charged by the hotel because, like, we got uh, someone set out like rose petals for us to uh -huh. like sleep, and we were so tired. We like went to bed like with the rose petals on, and then we woke oh. up. It looked like a oh. murder scene. <laughs> all the rose they petals were bleeding into the just sheets. All of it, and we were like, "Oh man!" Oh, and I'm like no. googling, like, "Can you remove rose petal stains?" Because I thought we were going to have to get charged for the entire. Bed. I'm sure they get that every single time. The, yeah. the roses. I'm but sure. But it's like, I mean, I wish. The, I'm sure usually people use like fake rose petals but maybe but know. we use real ones and boy it was like, I, I, those I had sheets blood though on me. i feel like yeah. they replace those all the time it's so gross too like it's hotel yeah. sheets. you gotta replace them at least oh but yeah I, a pretty rough like i guess morning but it was great because we had the brunch after and stuff but and like, the weather was so bad sunday in a good way it was so overcast yeah like i don't know it was nice it was yeah, fine it was a per it, the, we got so lucky with the weather there that day it was <laughs> fantastic <laughs> i'm i'm just now remembering what happened on the way leaving to go back to the airport. Oh, did oh. you guys almost forget your, uh, some people okay. miss their flights because of so, that. So we flew into Atlanta right, and then we drove to Alabama. There's a time difference. Yes. yes. <laughs> so we here we are, we're like, we are leaving early. early we're, we're gonna good. get there early. We're good. 
we get into the car, put in the GPS, and we're like, wait, why are we cutting this so close? And we're like, oh my God, it's a time, like there's a different time zone. <laughs> yeah. So then, it's so funny. We were so excited too, coming in like, oh, we're about to hit God, the time. Yes. <laughs> and then we, we gained it out. We're like, wow. We just completely forgot it. So Jason is freaking out because he's driving. And he, you know how old people like yeah. get there really old. early. <laughs> Call Jay old. Old people just like, or they need to be is. there like three hours early or they're having a, a stroke. Um, So he gets in the car. We start going and he is flying I'm like, yo, Jay, we're we're good. I don't know if you've driven with Jason. I feel bad saying this. The worst drive. He makes he makes driving look difficult. Like if you if you didn't know how to drive and you've never seen somebody drive, you would be like, I can't do that. That looks very tough. Yeah. He is ooh, ooh. Like, you know, in movies from the 40s where people are driving like this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he drives like that. Sure. He yeah. is driving like that. And you know the lanes, like as soon as you get out, it's like blah, 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 blah. I'm like, bro, <laughs> awful. So we're driving. And on top of this, Mariah taps me. She's like, look how fast we're going. <laughs> I look up 110. <gasps> what? And then we're sitting there. I'm like, <laughs> and then I peek again, 120. I'm like, this has this has to stop. How close are you guys cutting it? We were fine. Oh. <laughs> like, we still left early, but like yeah. we just still forgot about the we're time fine. difference. Uh, so I'm like, I need to like we need to say something. Like this is this is dangerous. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> as soon as we're thinking this, we look at each other. Boom! We fly by. I was like, that's a cop. <laughs> Immediately, cop. Oh yeah, no! Chased us down. He pulls over, and I'm like, like, <laughs> I was like, we we needed that right. Oh now. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, which is crazy because we were like going at a like safe speed. <laughs> safe speed. So Zane and Todd were behind us in another car, like a ways back, and I sent a picture with the cop, like in the rear view. No, I, but we we didn't even know that you were stopped yet. We like we didn't know at the time. No, I sent the picture with the cop in the in the lights. Oh, you did? Oh, that, I, did, I didn't that we see got it pulled yet. Over. So I was like, oh my God, they're coming up. They're coming up. So I took a video as they were going by and they took a video going by at the same time <laughs> of us pulled over. Uh, and it was just really funny that like they saw it. But um, the cop comes up and he starts talking. He's like, I clocked you at 101. If I give you this ticket right now, you have to go come back and serve a day in prison. What? <laughs> what a one Be is because fast. he was uh, thirty miles an hour over the speed limit. Oh and, like, boy, that's a serious speeding ticket. So he would have to come to LA and then go back when it was time and do a day in jail. Sorry, I'm just laughing at like the image of Jason ha having to go to jail and Naveen just outside of jail, outside of jail, <laughs> <laughs> just waiting for him to be free. <laughs> He got so lucky though with the ticket only be written for 84 because my little brother got a ticket right there and he had to go to, I, I don't know if he had to pay What's, a lot of money, mm -hmm. but he also had to spend a day in, at court, I think. Wow. Whoa. Not in jail, but he had to go do like, because he was following um, one yeah. of his friends and his friend was going very, very fast and he got pulled over, not the friend, but yeah, it was bad. And, and that's really it's always like that. I've never had somebody been like, I was speeding and my friend was following me and he got the ticket and I did it. Well, <laughs> it's always it's easy. Well, it's easier to get the person uh, behind. It's right. Yeah. Also, if you're following a cop who doesn't have their sirens on and you're just following him and he's going fast and you're going fast too, take it. Mm -hmm. Right. That happened. <laughs> Happened to me. Oh, you thought you could have a little loophole. Well, if he's speeding, I could speed. So yeah. then he pulled over and then pulled you over? Damn. He, he went He went like this a little. Ooh, ooh. I'm always, I'm always. Sirens. <laughs> Rules for thee and not, not for, for me. me. Mm -mm. Did Greg tell you about the guy that came up to him outside of uh, his place that he was staying at? No, Greg Barrett? Yeah. No. <laughs> they missed their flight because of the time change. Oh, really? Yeah, they were at the brunch and they realized at the time how many is people missed their and flight. they darted out. Uh, that's all we heard about, but oh, okay. I don't know. Well, Mike and I had like major delays, but yeah, uh, there was um, he walked out and there was this guy coming like walking towards him, and he said he could tell that the guy was um homeless, but he looked normal. He didn't seem right. like a like a you know kind of. I don't know how to word it, but like, it just looked like put together, but you could tell that, you know, a little mentally off. Uh, and he was walking 
So there was a guy coming up to him and he was walking, carrying a lead pipe with like the metal caps on the end of the lead pipe, like a big one. And he's walking towards Greg and Greg is like, okay, I got, I got to play this cool. Like I'm freaking yeah. out right now, but I'm not going to like make this guy think I'm like scared or anything. And I guess he made it clear that he was scared. So the guy came walking up to him and he looked at him, stopped, put his hand out, his fist with the lead pipe up to him. Gave Greg a knuckle tap and he's like, don't worry, baby. I love you. I'm not going to kill you right now. <laughs> and Greg was like, I love you too. And the guy just kept walking. That's wild. What? I love you, baby. This is your, this is your state. Don't worry. I'm not going to kill you right Proud now. Proud of it. <laughs> Proud of it. And he was like, thank That's you. My people. I love That's you. People. That's some Florida shit. Jeez. That's it. That means like, and if you're going to say something like that, that probably means you've had some I would what kind of had a little dabble with murder before. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. It's like broad. Well, daylight, you do know or? that Birmingham is the sixth um, most dangerous city in the United States uh, followed. And then number two is Bur uh, Bessemer, Alabama, which is about five minutes outside oh, of Birmingham. Fuck yeah, period. So good thing. I didn't know that. <laughs> the, no, the article came out literally, I think a month ago and I was like, crap, everyone's going to see it. They're not going to come Yeah, because I wanted to like walk around at night. Yeah, no, it's fine. I mean, it's, I've never felt unsafe. Mm -hmm. Okay. But I don't know. I think we all made it back from the wedding. Right? We sure <laughs> did. Have you, ever, have you heard of everybody making it home? <laughs> yeah. I haven't heard of anybody not making it home. Okay. So. Good, good, good. Overall, great experience. Where are your pictures? I'm waiting for your pictures to be posted on Instagram. I know. We're well, supposed our to be getting like. Were, well, first off, Mariah's photos were amazing. Um, yes, thank, thank you, you Mariah. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you for being so photogenic. <laughs> Thanks for knowing how to take pictures. Uh, <laughs> but we'll get a few back today, I hope. But it's all film. I can't wait to see the video. Of oh, the I yeah, know. I can't too. wait for all the content. So the, we got one videographer is doing just like a normal video. And he'll, mm -hmm. his contract, we should have it by November 1st, but which is next week. Um, and then the other, our main photographers, they had a super eight video. We, I don't think we'll get that back for a while. Uh, well, they just okay. got, they got to go through so many of it, but I know oh, we yeah. need some photos to post, but yeah, uh, I, do, I know, I know people are waiting. I know everybody's well, like, we wanted, waiting like, for We it. wanted to be loyal to our photographer and like oh, not repost yeah, yeah, yeah. just like pictures yeah. our mom took or yeah. anything like right. that. So, um, but yeah, we also went to Hawaii. We did an amazing. Yeah, I was asked about that. that yes. Oh my God. It was amazing. Oh. Good. <laughs> First time ever in Hawaii. Yes. I mean, you loved it. Which, loved which it. hotel? We went to Kona, the big island, and we stayed at the Four Seasons Walla Oh, which it was nice. amazing. Remy Cruz recommended it to me because Remy had been to like a lot of Four Seasons. She went to the one in Maui. Thank goodness we didn't pick Maui because uh, that would have yeah. not been the best uh, situation. Yeah. Uh, but Kona was ready, open for business, and she recommended the Four Seasons Walla And dude, this resort. Unbelievable! Yeah, like I had, I've never stayed at a place this serene, this well staffed in service and food options. Oh, it did was that like truly feel like a white lotus? Like, yeah, I, it, it kind of did. I mean, without they like the drama, upgraded our room, dude. To like our white room, lotus. Yeah, like it was the like, pineapple oh, room. Woo. Yeah. So originally we had this like hotel like in mind. We were planning on booking it, and then you know, Sophia Richie when she got married apparently she got engaged at this hotel but i don't know if it was at the hotel but it was on the residences at the hotel yeah. i think but that increased the popularity of this hotel and the rates were going through the roof so this one room i wanted to get we had to kind of like downsize and get a smaller room and uh, this is not an ad by any means but i love credit cards i love seeing <laughs> where the points can book you and on an amex platinum card <laughs> dude <laughs> It, there's like the fine the uh, way the, the the thing is that you said it just like an ad like you could have not said it like that. but i wanted i just wanted to get but it out of the way Am because with my amex, amex credit card however <laughs> you get a free room upgrade if it's on the platinum card and especially if you book it at a fine hotels and resorts uh one which is what this resort was it's part of their collection um and so we got, we thought we were gonna get a room upgrade, you know, just like one, maybe uh, get an outdoor shower included. Dude, they upgraded us to like this full on suite. I don't want to, uh, wow. let's just say per night, was the it kind of like a surprise because it was like you guys were just married? Was it kind of, or did I they don't get know a lot if they of knew the context? Uh, I think they did know we were there for our honeymoon. Okay. Yeah. But the upgrade. And I also didn't think it was that packed there. Yeah. Oh, week. okay. 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 So um, that so that's probably, yeah. But the upgrade in the room that we ended up getting was a room that would have cost $3,600 a night. Woo! Woo! A night. Heath and I have stayed in before a covered, remember? 
That I've never, I've never really stayed in a Four Seasons. It was. Wait, that's it? Uh, that's that, that's it, yeah. yeah, that's exactly what wow. it was. That's like. beautiful. And then the bedroom was like next to it. So we that's had a full on so living pretty. room and we had two showers and like oh, two that, closets. That and it just was just an outdoor shower. It was amazing. Oh, dude, lovely. It, I couldn't believe that the upgrade we've got. Cause every time I've used like, oh, that free upgrade, it's usually been like, oh, you get a slightly bigger yeah. room. This was like double. Wow. Uh, was everything just smooth as sailing yes. in um, Hawaii? Oh, yes. it sure was. We, I mean, every nice. restaurant on the property was so good. Um, all we did was wake up, go eat breakfast, go lay out by the pool or by the read. beach and read. Hey, I read like five should. books. Really? <laughs> it was a perfect. Oh yeah, all he did was the just read was all day. Perfect. He did He did say, remember he was, uh, I think there's another trip you guys went on where like, all, you're like, as long as me and Patricia can just read. Yeah, All day, we're fine. it's just time well spent because like I didn't want to come back from a honeymoon or feeling more exhausted. Yeah, Great. no, I you wanted to relax. Feel exhausted. Um, the best like experience or thing that we did while we were there, we did it on our last night. We went and did a sunset manta ray night snorkel. Mm -mm. Oh, it was. It that was sounds at, scary. Well, Isn't I was actually the first Steve? one that had to get in the water, so I had to be out there the longest and. I think it was probably a good thing because I wasn't even thinking. I was like, well, here I go. And there's yeah. everyone behind me. I have to get in. Yeah. But it was actually really cool. So they take you like on a boat with like, oh, probably like 16 other people. And uh, it's really cool because you get on there, you know, they serve you drinks or whatever. And then they take you out. Um, oh, is it lit up like, the, oh, like that? Yes. That's and so yeah. they have these Sick. boards with LED lights and you take out a noodle and you get your snorkel mask and you go out there and you just lay horizontal. And these manta rays just come up and the feed. Thing. It's like wow. watching angels. Huge, right? dance. Massive. Massive. And they get so close to you. They'll touch you and you're seeing like the insides of like their gills and everything. They, they, they won't they, like, do they have like a, like a, a stinger, like a bar, like a stingray? They're not or? barbed stingrays. No, no, no. These are like gentle. They're like, oh, the, they're, oh that's what I, that's yeah. what I was imagining. Like this, with, that the, are, with the two type. things coming up the front. Yes. Yeah. And it, that looks so fun I though. thought, Whoa, I thought. that thing is big. Yeah. I thought wait, when we, it's it? the size of the, wait, I don't the see. Oh, wait, that, the white, that's it? Yeah. Oh, whoa. They were, there was like four or five of them and wow. they would just dance around and it was. Did you feel like you're an avatar? Yes. Way, the way of water? Yes, in the way like the LED hits, it almost feels like it's like a black light mm -hmm. and you're seeing these creatures just illuminated. That's really, I, I never knew they did anything like that. That's like really where they pretty. have a light in the water and. They, and they're they, attracted to the LED. The way they realized it yeah. is that when they built like one of those hotel resorts on the bay, they had just a light that would illuminate the water and they realized that manta rays were so attracted to it because manta rays eat, you know, kelp and stuff. Uh -huh. And if the light's up, they really go after it. But the manta rays were running into like the cliffs. Were they stuff. feeding them kelp and shit? And so have them well, you can just see the kelp in the water. Oh, so okay. they just go up because they like to be able to see it. And then over the past few years, they realized, oh, this is like the most efficient way. Like you can That's like really cool. watch these gentle giants. Oh, I see. Come That's up a lot you. of shark food. I would hide if, uh -huh. if you are ever going to Hawaii. I'm not sure what it is with the other islands. If they have like a Ray experiences like this, but I highly recommend it. It there's nothing that's like so, that. That's, I would never think to like even look that up for like a nighttime uh, experience. Experience. Yeah, well, I was so, so nervous sick. because in Mexico we did um, we swam with whale sharks, and, and that was the scariest thing I think I've ever done in my really? entire life. Yeah, you I go to the deep, deep scary. part of the ocean. There's nothing around you. I thought we were going to go to like you know we were just gonna swim with these whale sharks in 10 feet of water, no. Yeah. We are in the middle of the ocean. You have to like flip off the boat. They're going in circles around you. You, It was- You're having like free swim and trying to keep up with the sharks. Oh, it's no. stressful. No, and no, like no, no, that, no, no. cause in the waves out in the middle of the ocean nope. and you have a snorkel on, you're like- nothing whoa, whoa, whoa. worse than that. And the waves you're trying to- <laughs> Yes. <laughs> and everyone on the boat shouting at you, telling you it's over there, even, you gotta go Even there. when people are in those like kayaks and the whales right there, Mm -mm. Nope. So I was honestly nope. so nervous about the manta rays because that was my last experience with, mm -hmm. you know, animals an aquatic and animal. Yeah. yeah. And this was oh, awesome. 10 out of 10. Awesome. We loved it. And then um, everything went. So everything just went smooth from the time the, good, right before good. the wedding engagement. Oh, did Matt tell you about our um, marriage certificate? No, oh, no. I think. Oh, uh, like, oh, we. We had to drive around for about three hours on. Tuesday before we got married. Tuesday, we wanted to get our marriage certificate done ahead of time before yeah. the wedding. So you have to go to the courthouse uh -huh. with all the documents and you have to like fill it out you have to get online. It notarized. And, yeah. and then you have to get it notarized. We had it, we had it filled out. I thought I had it perfect. We get it notarized through like a family friend and we get to the courthouse and they go, you did it wrong. <laughs> what? 
Because the example that what? they show you on like the marriage certificate, because it can have an example of if you were previously married and what was your last name before your previous marriage. The wording is very complicated. Yeah. And I had it listed out as like Patricia King. And they were like, no, it needs to be flack. It will become King later on, yada, yada, yada. And we had we drove around for like three hours because we didn't want to mm. ask the, uh, the person who notarized us the first time if she wanted to redo it again. Why can't they just make that and shit then it, Every single notary place that we went to, it was either, oh, the notarist is out for lunch. Oh, we don't notarize running uh, marriage uh, licenses anymore. Oh, um, we don't do that here anymore. And I finally was like, we got to call Lisa. I was like, why didn't you call me immediately after? Like, I'm sorry. Yeah. And so, yeah, and we just, uh, yeah, we finally got notarized, but there was a moment where like, we're going to run out of time here and we will not be officially married. You'll, you'll be before. having a fake wedding. Yeah. Pretty much. It'd be a whole big fake wedding, but no. Yeah. They it should like sit there smoothly. over your shoulder and be like, okay, here, this here. Yeah. Right. That's a really important here. document. Just to like to make to... it easier. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, it turns out my brother did the exact same thing as Matt. So we were like, oh, we just yeah, need to. I think it's a common mistake, but they just need to make it better identified on the website. It was so anticlimactic though. When we went in there, she just was like, she took it. She was like, congrats. And then she See ya. We were like, all right. Okay. <laughs> they just said, I'm sure she was very excited the first few times when uh -huh. she started working. And then it, she's just like, yeah. It's interesting how some states though, like, some states will require like you do have to have like a mini like ceremony, ceremony of like right, exchanging right. it in the courthouse. But yeah. this one, it was just like, you're done. Easy. It's yeah. yeah. And that's like, kind of wild. Like when you really just get the certification that you are now man yeah. and wife, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Do all your sins get forgiven? Yes. Right when you get married? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Is that true? Can't wait no. to get married. <laughs> <laughs> get yes. blessed. Mm -hmm. Everything's forgiven. Yes. I'm very sinful. For, I keep bringing it up. Yeah, your, your like you sins are blessed, right? <laughs> Somebody's trying to repent. I, I just, I just need a, I just need a good cleanse. Uh, just a good church girl. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it guys, feels, this, if, it's if, been so great having you guys by my side through this whole journey of the absolutely. first starting to date Patricia, and now she's my wife. You guys have been amazing friends, and I just want to thank you so much for being absolutely. a part of this journey. Absolutely. Your video thank you was phenomenal. I just can't believe that like we like we were talking about this like on camera a few years ago. That's just so cool. So cool that we got to see it all come together. Mm -hmm. Hey, Matt, we were there before. We were there before her. Yeah, uh -huh. so, you know, we were all there. Us. We were all there. Don't forget about Don't us. forget about the small people. Well, I'm glad y'all didn't forget about me this time around. Oh, of course not. Of course Absolutely. not. We were, we, were sa we were saving you. Yes, yeah. You're you. a special okay. one. And you. and we're breaking in the new season. Oh, yeah. That's right. Congrats. It's first episode, baby. Congrats, season. Five. Woo. Quattro. Cinco. Nice. With Cinco. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, Patricia. And thank uh, you. Actually, we could just end it, right? Yeah, yeah we can let's, close Let's it. just close it out, baby. Um, Yeah. Thank you so much for... Uh, Breaking in the new set with yeah. us, right? Sticking out another season with us. <laughs> we say that so much. How it's much just, longer, baby? It's just, it's just like we we surprise and shock ourselves every time it's a new season. We really do. And just like everybody, good job on the room. Good job with everything. Yeah. Good job with sticking with us. Everybody sticking mm. with us for so long. I'm proud of us. And I hope we can do this forever. Thank you guys for watching us. All right, well, um, you can check out these episodes, obviously, every Monday audio form on the podcast app, on Spotify app, and all those other apps. And on Tuesdays, we post the video version of these pod these podcasts on youtube.com slash Zane and Heath every Tuesday. Stop. Stop. Just because you're a producer does not mean you get to sit there and you get to fucking lie. This is your part of the show <laughs> still. Um, also, make sure to Miss. check out our Patreon, patreon.com slash Zane and Heath. Con. We... Uh, <laughs> We upload the the episodes uh, a few days early every single week. We also keep these cameras rolling for an extra like 20, 30 minutes, whatever. And we just could do an extended cut of the podcast. We also do a bonus episode every single month, either drunk, high with a guest or just something fun. And then we have a live Q&A every month, behind the scenes content, mm -hmm. a whole bunch of stuff. Again, patreon.com slash Zane and Heath. And you get it for $5. And as soon as you sign up, you get access to everything we've ever posted on there. Um, thank you so much, uh, and happy season five. We're going to have a great year, and we'll see you next week. This one's to you guys. Mwah. Love ya. Love ya. Peace. Nice.